I'm going to show you the top 10 must-have coins in your portfolio before this massive bull cycle begins. Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. Is it sounding interesting? Drop that like, give me a subscribe. Guys, you do not want to miss out on these coins. You should have these in your portfolio because you're going to see 10Xs, 20Xs, 100Xs, and potentially 1,000Xs with these coins I'm about to show you. Let's do this. This is not financial advice, so please do your favorite research before you invest your money. My personal opinion. The coin number one that I seriously believe you should have in your you know, top 10 must-haves is this one right here, Singularity Net AGIX. I've done a ton of videos on all these coins I'm about to show you. So I think like, I'm just going to kind of cut it short, like not dive too deep into the websites and what they do and not, well, I'll go into them, but I'm not going to dive too deep into them because I want to kind of get through this quick. We've got 10 coins. I just want to show you, then you do your further research, right? So for, for those that are new, <coughs> Singularity Net is an AI crypto coin. It's one of the biggest, if not the biggest crypto coin in the crypto space for AI. It, it, it was launching a, its first initial thing was to launch a, dis, uh, a decentralized kind of marketplace where people can drop AI codes in there and then other people can come along and take the AI codes and do much more with it. You know, make, if they're doing robots or whatever it is they're doing in AI. And I see the huge potential. I've been trying to push this to people since 20. 18 2019 maybe 2020 i don't know when, I'm, when i make my youtube anyway so and they're doing other things as well they're actually building an, an entire ecosystem of different projects to do with ai on their uh, ecosystem so you know check out the other projects me and patrons have been buying other projects because you know we see huge potential in this and you know you can come through the website in your own time and do more research on this because i think it's going to be great as it says here ai marketplace they also got an AI publisher. This is an AI domain specific language, DSL. They've got loads of different things in AI. Uh, AGIX token tools, AGIX staking in Britain. It talks about a lot of different things you can do. Uh, oh, look, it explains what OpenCog is. Because <laughs> uh, I, I was trying to like, explain to other people, like, you should know what OpenCog is. I'm going to touch on this. OpenCog Hyperon is a long term project to implement a complete. Okay, it's all about Hyperon, a complete, scalable, and open source general artificial intelligence system based on the principles of OpenCog. I still don't see what OpenCog is. It is an open source platform where different AI strategies and methods, such as neurosymbolic can't get it out AI evolutionary uh, learning systems, yeah, okay, economic attention allocation, machine learning, and other AI approaches can collaborate based on a shared knowledge uh, metagraph atmosphere. It still didn't tell me what, I thought it was gonna tell me what OpenCog was. <laughs> it says opencog.org, should I? Maybe, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna right click it, check it in my own time. So why do I think you should grab this? Because I do think that it's got, you know, at least another 10, 20, maybe 30, maybe 40, 50X. Sounds crazy, I know. Maybe another 50X, maybe a 60X. And it's, it sounds crazy because uh, you know, this coin's already had a massive rally over the last just year alone. You know, I'm going to drop it to six months. You can see down here, if you was a Patreon, we were buying this about three pence a piece. Uh, I remember showing you these alerts, you know, right back here somewhere. And we've seen a massive rally up to like 48 pence. Came down a bit. So, you know, right now you can buy about 40 pence a piece. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. But if you if you don't want to miss coins like this and you want to get in early, right back here. And you can, you know, if you're new, go check my videos. I was showing them at three pence a piece. Become a Patreon. They see it first and they can buy these coins mega cheap, just like coins that they're seeing now. Right? I'm not saying too much. I'm just saying they're seeing coins now. They're buying cheap. We're going to do the same thing again. Um, the link is in my info section for my Patreon. Click it. Come over. Grab this tier here. Let me find it. This one. The exclusive VIP partner tier. It will unlock all my posts so you can see when I'm buying, when I'm selling, when I'm staking and everything else. Let me go back to this. So if we see like something like a 50x on this, because, you know, I believe we're going to see it. I still think there's another 50x in the cards for when this has an insane rally. When this mega cycle kicks off, <clears throat> what does it do to the market cap? Times it by 50. I'm talking a 24 billion market cap. What would it do to the price? So 0 0.40, I'll put the 8 as well, be precise. I'll put the 7, you know, here, four, zero. so 40 pence, uh, times it by 50. You'll be looking at a 20 pound price for Singularity Net when it goes there. Let's go to the next coin. Second coin, Gala. <coughs> Sinking my throat. Gala is a play to earn ecosystem 
more than that now because they're looking to bring uh, film in, they're looking to bring music, well they've already been bringing music and you know started bringing film so this is a massive entertainment ecosystem hub of games and everything else and I think it's only going to grow bigger. They're focusing in 2023 on mobile gaming, that's going to absolutely explode because You've got a lot of people that love playing mobile games. You know, it's on the phone. Kids can play it. You know, parents can play it or whatnot. And I think that's going to spark a huge attention to Gala when they start realizing that there's a load of mobile games made by Gala. What is this Gala? Yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're going to just start Googling Gala. They're going to see it. They're going to realize they can invest and make some crazy money. And on top of that, once all the filming stuff kicks off and everything else, it will just go parabolic. And I think, you know, it's launching its own chain. Is it called the Jiri? Giri? Gary? I can't remember if it's Jiri. Jimmy, Giri, uh, whatever it is, the own, it's going to be a layer one blockchain for gaming, entertainment and everything else, which means we may see projects that are already in this crypto space migrate over to the Gala ecosystem because it may be better for them, right? And that might spark the price of Gala as well. So this is the second one. Again, I think there's another 50x in this cards, uh, sorry, in the cards for this, a 50x in the cards for Gala, what are we talking? Actually, I think you can go higher, but let me introduce. Uh, times this by uh, 50, the market cap will be sitting on a, uh, get it out, 14.2 billion market cap. What does it do to the price? So price right now is 0.03. I, I think you can go more than that. Uh, let me just do it, hold on, 0.03 times, oh, done it wrong. 0.03 times 50. We're looking at, I should have put the eight as well. Hold on, I want to be precise. 0.038 times 50 you know this is pence right so in sense i'll try and work it out for you as well i'm talking a one pound 90 price so before gala went as high as 61 pence which is about 75 cents something like that um so you know a one pound 90 price what would that be in dollars let me just grab it on my little uh, thingy one pound 90 one pound 90 is a two dollar 31 pence two dollar 31 cents price i think it's doable you know euros two euros 17 Yen, 305 yen. I think that's the price we're going to see for Gala in the future because more and more adoption is going to happen. There's going to be bigger things happening for Gala with the mobile gaming and everything else. So, yeah, that's my second one. Third coin, Veracity, V-R-A. I call it Veracla. <laughs> Veracla is sitting on 005, half a penny right now. This all-time high for this coin was 06 pence, or 6 pence. Zero six, just six pence, uh, and I think it's going to go there again. I've been screaming a dollar for veracity for a long while now, uh, and maybe this cycle coming, the, the next massive hyperwave could do it. Uh, so what are we talking for this to go to like a dollar? Because uh, what's a dollar in British pounds? I know it's what eighty cents, 80, 80 pence. Getting okay, mixed up, aren't I? Uh, eighty-two pence. I think an eighty-two pence price for veracity is going to come, and it's going to shock a lot of people when it does, because you have an opportunity like this to buy it right down here at 005. Let me just quickly touch on Gala, because I remember showing you guys Gala right back here before it had an insane pump, 005 or 004, 003, where was it? Right back here, and you know, if you was back here in 2021, you know, I was showing you Gala before everybody else was talking about the whole, and shout out to my secret source, trust me, i got to show some love, I see you, bruv. Shout out to you, my secret source hooked me up on this. Uh, we were buying it mega, mega cheap, guys. It was in incredible. Here, look, 005. 005, I was telling you guys to buy Gala. Had an absolute insane explosion. Everybody that was paying attention to me back then, you made a 100 times your money back. <laughs> Just like what I told you with Matic. And now I'm telling you with VRA, Veras Clark, you best believe, 005. I'm getting them same tingles, guys. Not financial advice, but you might see a similar thing happen with Veracity. So for those that are new, real quick, touch on it. Veracity is like trying to prevent the, the ad fraud. There's a lot of ad, uh, bots that you see on YouTube, Instagram. You see a lot of bots, Twitter, and they're trying to stop that. Like It's mostly targeted with views. Like When you watch a, a channel, you can, get, you can see people pay for fake views, and they're just fake. They're not real. They're not genuine. So... They're trying to tackle this, and I think there's a huge use case for this. Ad tech has a $160 billion problem with fraud. Veraviews is an end-to-end -end ad stack solution that combines the transparency of accountability and block of blockchain and the, uh, 
with the security of Veracity's patent proof of view technology. So they've got a patent for this across mo many different countries. Uh, this is using AI as well. So the way the proof of views works is it uses AI to add up the score sheet of, you know, to, de to detect if something is being used as a fake or a genuine view. So I kind of like this. I think there's massive potential and you just you know you see another a lot of big youtubers still talk about veracity because we see it we all see it we all see where this is going to go in the future well at least we believe so i believe so is why i put it in the top 10 so if it goes there to 82 pence right i said a dollar price 82 pence 0.82 divided by the price it is now divided by point uh divided by Point zero zero. It's gonna be a massive gain. Put a seven as well. Be precise. I'm talking a hundred and forty three times your money back. You know, putting a thousand pounds right now, and this is not financial advice. Your one thousand pounds could turn to a hundred and forty three. Get it out. Thousand pounds. <laughs> it within when it, this launch. You know, if 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 if, if we see the massive rise up in the rally, it really could. You know, a three thousand dollar investment. You know, three thousand dollars. If you can afford that, I don't know. I mean, a hundred hundred dollars turns to ten thousand four no fourteen fourteen thousand dollars. Hundred dollars turns to fourteen thousand. I'm just trying to think about people that don't have much. Is that right? Hundred dollars times ten is a thousand times a hundred is fourteen thousand. Yeah, fourteen thousand dollars. That's for people that ain't got a lot of money. But for people that got something like three grand, you turn it into four hundred and thirty-one thousand pounds. Life change. I'm not saying no more. <sighs> Make me sit there all long on this. <laughs> I want it to be quick. Next coin. <clears throat> you guys can't see this because it's a stealth buy. <laughs> but patrons can see it. And patrons that, you know, saw the last video, if you haven't seen it or if you guys haven't seen it, this is the stealth buy. And I'm, I've got to put it in there. If you want to see this coin, become a patron. It unlocks straight away for you. You will see which coins we're stealth buying. I'm going to drop a post today to remind people of the stealth buys. So, you know, VIP tier, this one here on the left, or the middle one, exclusive VIP uh, partner tier or above, is going to unlock these stealth buys for you. And you can see what we're buying. Don't miss out. Because this one's going to I see 100x potential in this stealth buy right here. So... Uh, it's, it's, it's a mad one to try to do this because obviously you can't see the, the tokenomics and stuff but just know that this is under a 20 million market cap has huge potential to blow i'm calling 100x people are going to 100x their money on this token and you'll get you have a chance to get in early right now you know to make absolute insane gains i can see it here it's a micro it's a no it's, it's a it's a, a low cap my uh, cryptocurrency huge potential uh so i can't really say more on that just come over to the thing so you can see it pay attention to this one okay next coin <laughs> it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay <laughs> Okay, so uh, next coin. <laughs> I can't help it. Constellation Dag. I remember. <laughs> I remember buying this at thirty pence a piece. No, maybe not fourteen pence. I was buying Constellation Dag about fourteen pence a piece because I wanted to grab a Dag node back uh, back then. Let me find fourteen pence. Uh, uh, seventeen pence. Back there, a bit lower. But I was buying it about here, more well, a bit further back. Maybe here. Uh, no, about 14 pence a piece and it cost me about sixty thousand dollars <laughs> not even a joke because i switched some of my harmony to it right to buy a dag node uh, and now you know as it's falling massively in price uh you've had this incredible opportunity to be buying this at a bargain buffet you best believe uh three and a half pence Point, almost it's literally around three and a half pence which in dollars is probably about four cents i can't stress this to you you will see this coin make serious moves i'm calling 100x we're talking a 97 million market cap low cap gem i'm calling 100x on this and you know a lot of these coins i'm showing you i feel they have 100x potential let me just do that there's so many other coins that i could have put in there and matter of fact if there's a coin that you don't see in here and you think it should have been in drop the comments down below let everyone else see what should have been in these top in this top tens to grab a 9.7 billion real quick this is a layer zero blockchain uh, crypto project uh, it says redefining web free interoperability with layer zero consensus secure fearless fearless 
You know when you go on Ethereum and you're trying to send something or you're trying to buy an NFT or whatever you're doing? There's gas fees. You know when you want to buy that smart chain? I know it's six pence. Actually, it's gone up a bit. It's 11 pence. 11 cents now. Taking 11 cents off me for. What are you doing that for? I used to buy a pe penny bubble gums. Now I can't buy it because you're taking 11 cents. <laughs> Just people get upset. You made me spend 11 cents. You do that 10 times. That's one pound. That's one dollar 11 cents. Get something from the dollar store with that. It's just get attitude, isn't it? <laughs> so what I'm saying is, this is feeless. You can send forward and backwards. This is where the this is where crypto is going. In the future, crypto will be feeless to send stuff. You're not paying anything to send anything to anyone, anywhere, or anything. It's just going to be feeless. Nothing cost you nothing. Uh, and infinity scalability. So this uses a hat. Uh, is it the called uh, a, a DAG direct acyclic? Graph, I think I said it right, and it uses this thing called a hash graph. No, that's the, or is it hypergraph? Let me just check it, because what there's there's another one similar called uh, header header header, and one uses hash graph, one uses hypergraph. Constellation is a decentralized network that enables anyone to build the future of Web3 fast, fearless transaction security. I said the same thing up there. Where is it? Hash graph or hypergraph? Let me see. I think it's the hypergraph. I feel like I'm leaning more towards it being a hypergraph. Rather than the hash graph. <laughs> Let me just say, I'm trying to look for it, I can't find it. Uh, no, 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 no. You start mumbling, isn't it? We're trying to look for something. It's not there. <laughs> I, I'm, it's one of them. I, I'm leaning to more. Ah, hypergraph. So, using the DAG system in crypto is supposed to be the most securest uh, way or most secure network that exists in our world uh, because it's, it works differently to like a blockchain so the security level is a lot higher you're seeing uh huge because they, they I, I always say it and i gotta put it in because uh, who is it was it, um the army the u.s navy u.s army i can't remember royal air force something like that no, that's uk in it <laughs> anyway the u.s Ar i think it's the u.s army something to do with planes, they're using this, and they're using it for their security on the blockchain, and I think that as time goes on, you're going to start seeing more projects, more serious kind of, like, governments and names start using Constellation DAG, which is going to help push the price of this, and I think there's huge potential for this, so just touching on it real quick, Constellation DAG, uh, I said 100x puts it at 9.7 billion, what does it do to the price, right now the price is 0 0.03 pence, I put the 6, you know, <laughs> <laughs> times about 100 i'm talking a three pound 60 uh, three pound 60 price almost around about four dollars i think it's doable it's gonna set many people up for greatness next coin trying to be, go through this <coughs> cypherium i think cypherium's got huge potential i want to touch on a few things with cypherium because some people have been seeing other uh, videos and stuff and thinking that uh, it might be a scam or whatnot well i don't think it is and i feel like a lot of people have got the wrong perception of this whole thing with Cytherium and FedNow. See, many people believe that uh, they're dealing with FedNow, uh, in, like it's been confirmed. Maybe so, I don't know, but from what I've, my perspective of it was, let me just clear this for a minute, because uh, they, they had, uh, let me find it, where's the website again? They had a post talking about FedNow, and, how, and, and the whole post was about them being on the showcase. It's here, let me just find it. Here we go. <coughs> Go to case study. So if you if you read closely, FedNow Services chooses Cypherium as a service provider. Uh, they were part of the FedNow uh, showcase for, uh, it says it here, Reser it says Cypherium featured in the Federal Reserve's new FedNow Service Provider Showcase. I want to grab this up because it's important. Where is it? FedNow Service Provider Showcase. This. Because FedNow shows a bunch of different uh, technology, smart, innovative technologies as to what they may use in future for their uh, payment system, right? And Cypherium was one of them. So a lot of people have been going on the basis of, ah, oh, Cypherium's using Fed now, it's, it's a guaranteed thing. <coughs> it could be. I mean, I'm going to look at the Twitter as well, but I just, I just when I saw this, I saw it as if they do get selected for Fed now, that's going to be phenomenal. you got to remember, Fed now is a massive, massive thing. And for those that don't know it, look at my last videos. I've got tons of videos on, you know, Sapphire and talking about Fed now. Uh, actually, no, I got, well, I have, but I haven't uploaded them yet. I've got one up, uploaded now that you can see. Go check it out. I went deep on it. And you can see all the different project, uh, projects that they selected, right, to be used as, as part of the showcase. This was it here. If you skip right to 11, can you skip to 11? 
sort by it. No, you just uh, uh, don't make me go all the way through. I can just quickly skip it to eleven because uh, you know you will see Sapphirium in this section, right? So where is it? Let me find it. Here you go. Sapphirium's here. So Sapphirium was one of the blockchain technologies selected for the showcase of Fed now, but many people believe that. Uh, it's a scam type of project because it's not being used on Fed now. Well, that's not my perception of this. <clears throat> if we click view, um, here we go. It says uh, services and products to support Fed now uh, service. And this is all on the Fed now website, right? So you can see it, so in blockchain. So it's likely that they could be the one to be used for it. And if you look down here, it says the materials made available through the showcase are presented as a convenience to potential participants in the Fed now service. See, so it says federal, uh, the Fed now service uh, is merely the host for the showcase and does not support that in or endorse any showcase providers. So they haven't paid them or anything to be a part of it. It says an inclusion or exclusion of a provider Provider show in no way imply uh, uh, any recommendation or endorsements by. It's just saying that they're not being endorsed. They're not endorsing or anything. It also says because I want to read this. It's important, right? To make people make sure they understand what's going on. It says uh, FRFS, which is the F Fed now Reserve, whatever it is. Uh, it says not reviewed. Uh, and takes no responsibility for the content or accuracy of the information presented, meaning that if these projects start presenting different things, FedNow is not responsible for that, right? That's what they're saying. I wanted to get to another one. None of the providers supplying materials through the showcase have any specific exclusive relationship with FRFS, and no relationship should be implied. So it's not... I would say it's not 100% uh, confirmed that they are going to be the one selected because there's other things like Tacit. So Tacit is like a private blockchain uh, which governments can use. We can't buy it because there's no token for it. That also got selected. So Tacit's in the same boat. Some people think Tacit's selected, but, uh, you know, they're all in the same boat. All, they've, all that's happened is they've all been selected for you know, the opportunity to be working with Fed now. And this is what you're seeing here with all these little things here, right? So <clears throat> it's good. It's, it's a good thing that these are even being seen here because of the hundreds and hundreds and thousands of different projects that are going to be around, not just blockchain outside of it, you know, it's sitting here with this as an opportunity to, you know, do something big for this. But when you come over to the, the Cypherium's uh, chain, right? Sorry, Twitter. Talks about this, so for March 14th, it says, By joining Fed now ecosystem, Safir will bridge the on-chain and off-chain assets making seamless. I saw some comments, you know, touch on the comments. Got to. Because <coughs> you had a few people saying, well, you know, you know, it's not confirmed that you are, or is it a scam, or blah, blah, blah. How is Safirium connected uh, to... Ta uh, no, it's not. Uh, it says, stop fighting. Uh, no, no. Safirium is participating in the Federal Reserve. Okay, so this person highlighted this, right? Uh, I just want to touch on this. Is this the one? I can't remember which one it was. I, I was I was reading these comments, these tweets, because I saw um, Cypherium, the Twitter, reply to one of them. I can't remember which one it was. Let me just go back again. Uh, and I don't want to bore you on this. It's just saying that's important. That's got to be shared. Do you know what I mean? Um, I can't find it. Maybe you'll find it in your own time. It was one of these. It was on this, this particular one. <clears throat> and they were, they were just saying that, you know, in a sense, we are going to be dealing with Fed now, but it's not being confirmed on there, I can't remember what it was, like, it's saying, like, just because it isn't confirmed now doesn't mean it isn't the kind of thing, like, maybe it'll take time, a couple of months before it confirms it, I don't know, but you look through this in your own time. Another thing that uh, people are getting funny with, with Cypherium, I just want to touch on it all, right, is, you know, people's clothes and how they look in regards to the team, and for me, like, it shouldn't matter what a person wears, it shouldn't matter what they show in their, you know, faces, uh, what 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 their profile picture is going to be? It shouldn't matter because at the end of the day, like if you think of the most popular coin in the world, uh, Bitcoin, no one knows who Satoshi is. So, because in my sense, should this guy here not have shown his face, just like Satoshi, and then wait ten years down the line to see, oh, actually, Cypherium's all right, actually, <laughs> because he's shown his face. He didn't have to do that. I when I when I share you my videos, I'm wearing cheap clothes. This top is Primark. You best believe you know you've seen it in Primark. I wear cheap clothes. I move big money, but I wear cheap clothes. You best believe. Because I still live I still live like an average guy. I made serious money in crypto. And if you're watching this video and you know you got in on those coins like the, the Matic and the Gala, I showed you coins before they blew up. You made serious money. And I was wearing hoodies all the time, all through my videos. So it doesn't matter what people wear. 
the pro the main purpose and main focus is what can these guys do? If you're gonna do something that you say you can do for this project, cool. If you can't, fine. It doesn't matter what these guys look like. Doesn't matter what they wear. It's about what they can do, and that's what I'm interested in. And time will tell. I mean, otherwise, you, you know, you guys, you guys might as well just take all your fa take all your uh, pictures and stuff down for people that are worried, kind of thing. And then just, you know, just be like Satoshi, remain hidden. And then when it blows up ten years, <laughs> anyway, let's talk about this. I believe this has got hundred x to one thousand x potential. It's not a joke. That's what I believe. But you know, if you feel like it's high risk, don't invest. Or if you feel like it's high risk but you want to invest. Put what you can afford to lose. Because that's what crypto is supposed to be about. You're not supposed to be putting your whole life savings and everything else. You're supposed to be investing what you can afford to lose. Like, seriously. Because then you shouldn't have a problem about what their top looks like or what his face looks like or what the photo looks like or if they are or are not on Fed now. You shouldn't even worry about that. Because in your head, you should just be like, you know what? It's a high risk. And should I take that risk or not? If not, go for another coin. Okay? That's what I think. I'm, I'm taking the risk <laughs> and many of my patrons are taking the risk on this. I think there's huge potential. Time will tell. Uh, and I've only invested what I can afford to lose. Okay. 0 0.069. If this does 100x on my money, this got, the video's too long and I didn't want it to be this long. <sighs> That's what I can do because <sighs> it took too long. Times it by 100. I'm going to be quick on the other ones. Six pound ninety pence. That's where I think it's gonna go. If it goes there, it's gonna make a lot of people money. The market cap right now is a thirty-seven million market cap. I'm gonna show you what kind of uh, thingy it's gonna sit on uh, market cap when it does a hundred x. A hundred x will put this at a three point seven billion market cap. Not thirty-seven billion. Not hundreds of billions. Three point seven billion. If it goes there within the next year, just like when I showed you the galas and the Matix and the whatnots, I'm gonna come back and say who is paying attention. Next coin. <laughs> Morpheus Network. How many have I done? Uh, one, two, three, four. Mm, let me see. Hold on. Hold on. I showed you one. Uh, what's this? Two. Gala. Three for ver veracity. Oh, that was the hidden one. Four. Five. Uh, constellation. Six. Sapphirium. Seventh coin. <coughs> Morpheus Network. Real quick. Morpheus guys is for. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> It reminds me of VeChain. That's it. Uh, supply chain. A decentralized supply chain, blockchain powered. Uh, I don't know. Is there uh, nodes running now? Because you needed 1,800 tokens to be able to run a node on this. But I, I'm, I was looking into another supply chain that could be as good or if not greater than VeChain. Because VeChain is great. I love VeChain. But there's enough room for another supply chain project to be involved. And this one stands tall for me. The Morpheus Network Global Supply Chain Platform. Morpheus Network is a supply chain SAAS is it something as a service? <laughs> Middleware platform that's seamlessly integrating legacy and emerging technologies. Example, blockchain, Internet of Things, RFID. Boom! Internet of Things. Because I was saying there's another project that does Internet of Things. It says, we provide companies with shipment and item visibility for optimizing and automating safe and secure supply chains, saving them time and money. So when you see those videos sometimes on YouTube, there's got like a big cargo boat with loads of little little cargoes because that's how supplies go across the world when you want to eat food from your shop i don't know who are you walmart tesco's you know because i'll be tesco's i don't like tesco's food that much anymore maybe mark suspensers <laughs> i need to upgrade my levels mark suspensers the supply has to be moved from one place to another. Usually it's from one country to another. And they ship these supplies from one place to another. When we had that 19 action, you know, uh, supply chains went on hold for a while. This is why you saw people panic and start buying loads of pasta. <laughs> And by putting loads of tissue in their in their toilet, just sitting it there just in case, because supply chains weren't moving. Well, a decentralized supply chain could be amazing. I mean, at the minute they're saying it's just going to be for optimizing it and tracking it and whatnot. But what if we get a decentral? What if we start seeing decentralized cargo ship shipping boats that become decentralized that can just keep going nonstop because because of the, the blockchain making it happen. I don't know, I'm just thinking of things in my head. There's huge potential behind this. It says, clients love us. That's talking about people that love it. What is what is Morpheus Network? So, <clears throat> disrupting the global supply chain. <clears throat> the world economy relies on fast and efficient global supply chain, which uh, is an industry valued over $15 trillion. I never knew that. How, uh, I must have, but I didn't read it properly again. Uh, however, global trade contains various challenges and inefficiencies inefficiencies it says the world bank has uh, defined supply chain efficiencies 
efficiencies, get the word out, as the number one world problem to solve in order to uh, stimulate uh, economic growth. And it says backed by industry experts. So our team possesses processes you know, of experts... Expertise needed to make Morpheus Network run as smoothly and safely as possible. Uh, this includes team members with sig uh, significant experience to development, uh, blockchain, IoT. It's the same thing I told you before. Shipping and compliance. It says web and blockchain security, banking platforms, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, I, do, I do see the potential. <clears throat> if they're going to use project, uh, you know, these projects like, or big brands like UPS, FedEx, DHL, just them three alone, if these three alone are going to be incorporated on this and they're going to solve the whole problem of moving things supplies it's just going to go parabolic because just there alone you got free if, if if these are partnerships if they are you're going to have three strong use cases right there because these are some of the biggest uh supply services that i know of you know when i get you get something it probably comes from ups right or fedex i'm just saying so look into it more Definitely one of the top 10 must-have coins. If this was to 100x, look at this. The mark, the max supply, 47 million coins. You'll never get any more than 47 millions, uh, million. The, uh, the, uh, the market cap, 64 million. It's a low cap project. I'm not showing you these coins with 10 billion, in, 10, uh, 10 billion market cap, 2 billion market cap, 4 billion. There's not much room for them to grow. If you want to make big money, 100x gains, You've got to go down the rabbit hole and through the looking glass. That's what I keep doing. And that's why I'm sharing it to you. You come down the rabbit hole through the looking glass. I'm showing you these coins that not many big YouTubers are showing you. Right? Tell me who yeah, these other ones are talking about Morpheus. I'm just saying, well, maybe there's a few. But anyway, times it by 100. <coughs> 6.4 billion market cap. When you see a 6.4 billion market cap for Morpheus, uh, £1.72, the price times that by 100 will be sitting on... 172 pounds for one coin you have a fine opportunity right now and this is not financial advice uh to grab about 500 coins i'd say 500 could be a good hold 500 coins would be about 860 pound uh, a coin so 860 pound price for 500 if you have 500 of these and it goes to 172 pounds for one coin and then you sell all 500 at that price 86 grand you turn your 860 quid into 86 grand. That's some serious life-changing money for some. I'm going on. Next coin. Boom. The sandbox. Now, I also like Decentraland. And I wanted to put both. And quite equally, if you wanted to have an Easter egg and add an additional one, you can. But I wanted to go for the sandbox. Because I didn't want to put both. They're both kind of like blue chip. You know, what do I class as a blue chip? If you see a project that has like a, a billion in supply, it's considered a blue chip. And I've been, yeah, I've been showing you low cap coins. But it is good to be diverse and have some that are higher cap. So, you know, this for me would be considered as a blue chip. Uh, less risky. I'm just making sure I'm recording. <coughs> Sometimes my thing plays up. Anyway, I chose this one. Decentraland is e equally good. But I think just the partnerships alone just makes me say, and I said it before, that, you know, this is a winner. And I think as time goes on, it's going to grow. For those that are new, Sandbox is your metaverse play-to-earn project. And I think this is going to keep growing and growing and growing. You're going to see loads of new partnerships come. It says here, Sandbox Voxel. I ain't seen that Voxel madness. Voxel, I'm going to have to look into it. There's a land sale. They've got rabbits here. And just, again, just to name a few of the partnerships for those that are new. You've got Snoop Dogg, Walking Dead, Adidas, you know, Smurfs, things that I can think of. Um, Atari, loads of different big brands. There's loads more. Uh, things that you can't even see. But I feel like this project of them all is going to stand tall and perform really, really well. <laughs> Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Look how good they make it look in pixelated version. In a pixelated form. Anyway. For me, this, again, I believe this, we're going to see Decentraland and Sandbox be the top of the top, you know, the highest performing projects of Metaverse in the future. And I think it will sit on 100 billion, both of them. I think in the future, more big money is going to come into the space and the Sandbox will, put, you know, potentially be sitting on 100 billion in market cap because it's going to be massive. Uh, 101 billion is 100x from the price right now. It'd be about a 56 pound price. Okay, 56 pound price. So you decide what you want to do. Next coin, top 10 must haves Moonbeam. Moonbeam has been silent under the radar over the last few months. Uh, oh, yeah. I remember when it launched and it was sitting about 14 pounds a piece. Well, it says here 10 pounds. Look at this, look, 10 pounds or just under 10 pounds. But when you come down to all time high, you can see the all time high is about 14 pounds a piece. 
Um, for me, I seriously believe that there's a strong use case for interoperability. And this is going to take us there. This is going to be, you know, you had layer ones, which was Bitcoin, Ethereum, layer two, which was scaling them. So it's cheaper for us to do fees like Polygonmatic. And now the next level in the crypto space, the next era is interoperability. Being able to take all different chains, like your, your Binance, your Ethereum, and then do anything you want on one chain and it works across all of them. So that's what Moonbeam's going to look to do. It says multi-chain. They're using parachains. So you'll have, uh, you could build one thing on Moonbeam and then it works across all chains instantly, straight away, no problem, no, no nothing. Now we can't do that right now. If you build an app or something on Ethereum, you can't then, you know, start fiddling, fiddling about on uh, Binance Smart Chain and do something with it. You have to rebuild the app on the Binance Smart Chain or the Arbit Arbitrum Chain, whatever chain it is. Well, with this, it's going to be cross-chain for all chains, at least I believe so. So, I'm, you know, I'm still bullish on this. I think it's a great buy right now. This is why I'm sitting in the top 10 must-haves. <clears throat> 100x again. These are the, again, I'm showing you what I believe is 100x. 200 million. Take, take the project. Uh, sorry, the calculator price times it by no market cap times by 100. <coughs> it goes to a 20 billion market cap. The price will be 0.33 times 100. Uh, what 33 quid? Each coin will be about 33 pounds for one coin. There's uh, an unlimited supply, which means it's um, inflating, but it's very tiny. It's not uh, not loads. You probably would never see this go to a two billion in supply. I think because not in your lifetime anyway. Because I think I worked out. I can't remember. Um, if it's inflating right now about 8% and then over, and it comes down to 5%, you know, if you take this, which is the total supply right now that exists today, right? Let's say, um, even we'll just work, I know it's going to go down to 5%. Let's just work at 8%, 8 times it by 8%. Every year, if it stayed at 8%, every year, 84 million tokens would be created. If you add 50 years to this. No, let's just say 70 years. Because are we going to be alive in 70 years? <laughs> Do you think you'll be alive in 70 years? It will go up by 5 billion in 70 years. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll work with that. I don't think it's going to take that. And that's based on it being 8%. It, it keeps inflating 8% for the next 70 years. I don't think it will. I think it's going down to 5%. But even if it did, you're looking that it would have an additional six, almost additional 6 billion tokens to what it is now. So if you take this, add it to the already, you know, total supply of 1 billion. Uh, I'm going to add this here, look, the 1 billion. The max supply would be about 7 billion tokens in supply. You'll never, basically, you'll never see it go to about 10 billion uh, in supply in your lifetime. You'll probably be dead by then. I, I don't know. Time will tell. We're talking 70 years from now. <laughs> in 70 years from now, I like to believe, actually, how long do you think it'll take for Moonbeam to really perform well? Let's say it took 10 years. Look at this, look. So if I do the same thing again, because I'm working with the inflation, right? Times it by 8%. <clears throat> if you're getting 84 million inflated every year, that's based on it staying at 8%. It won't, it'll go down to 5%, best believe. Times it by 10, because I'm trying to keep it real, right? Times it by 10, it will inflate by 848 million. This is why I was trying to say to you before, it, you know, we probably won't see it go any more than 2 billion because by then the coin would have pumped massively. People would have made crazy gains in 10 years' time. Come on, add this to it. Look, that plus that, we're talking a 1.9 billion uh, in supply. So in 10 years, it's going to be 1.9 billion based on it having an inflation rate of 8% over the next 10 years, which it won't. So what I'm trying to get at of all of this is that it's a, it, you know, it's a low supply token. It's not got hundreds of billions. It's never going to inflate to hundreds of billions in your lifetime, not even tens of billions. By 10 years time, it'd be about 2 billion in supply, less than that because that was 8%. I've seen coins with 2 billion go to like 6, 8, 10 pounds a piece and you have as well. So that was my verdict on this. It might go more, 20, 30, 40 pounds. 100x will put this at a 33 pound price, right? 0.33 and I think it's going to be doable times it by 100 I think it's going to be doable for what it's trying to achieve it's going to be doable anyway next coin this is my last coin my 10th one and I've got an easter egg there I'm going to show you Clintex Clintex is an AI uh, medicine clinical testing project and it uses artificial intelligence to help speed up clinical trials and 
for the you not, you have for the first time you have an opportunity to get involved in a medicine type of project and this is what i love about crypto i've shown you like nine other different coins that all involve around different projects you've got gaming you know multi-chain processing constellation dag which is a you know a, a, a layer zero project that can do different things to other things you've got another ai which is singular and you've got ad fraud i'm showing you you know supply chains i'm showing you a variety of different uh uh um what do you call them uh, genres, not genres, different types of niches and things like that that we're, we're now taking a part of, right? <coughs> Into your portfolio. And I think that this one will have room to grow, room to explode. We just look, currently, efficiency issues in clinical trials are costing between $600,000 to $8 million a day. When I saw that, that it can sometimes take up to $8 million to, to, you know, to fix these clinical trials. Uh, I realized there was a strong use case for this because we all sat through that whole 19 experience, right? And how we were locked up, they won't let me out, no. You know what I mean? Like just sing for you as well. Like, uh, we, <laughs> we all sat through that whilst they were trying to work out a solution, right? So had they had used this, because this is where this came about after it, had they have used this, Clintex, it probably would have been a lot better, faster, more efficient. We won't, wouldn't have been locked up for like a whole year and a half, <laughs> maybe a couple of months. So... I feel like there's a use case for this. And I think in the future, if we see any more problems with cl anything, like clinical trials will be sped up and this is going to help it. This is really is a low cap gem in my eyes. Two million market cap. When this does a hundred X on your money, right? Take this times it by a hundred. Uh, it will go to a 240 million market cap. The price will be about a £2.80 pence price. I can see it there on the left, £2.89. I'm just timed to this. Show me the decimal forward. Uh, I'll show you look, what I do like, real quick. People are like, really? How do you feel? figure it out so quick? So look, watch times 10, 28 pence times 100, £2.89. Um, that's going to be life changing for some. You might be able to get more. The great things with coins that are so low in market cap like this, yes, the high risk, but high, more high reward, is that you can bag a lot more. So, what might cost you like 300 quid today, you know, 10,300 coins, might cost someone four or five grand down the line. So, this is why it's good to get in and pay attention now. Guys, that was 10 coins. I'm going to give you an Easter egg before I go. One final coin, an Easter egg that I seriously believe is a must have coin in your portfolio before this uh, 23 bull cycle mega wave kicks off and begins. Like we've already seen it happening, we're going to start seeing more. Uh, and the Easter egg coin is this one right here Epic Cash. Was you about to go? I know you're here now. Epic Cash is a privacy token uh, just built like pure fresh and core being mined right now uh, and, and and you know this the only way to get this on Vite exchange uh, it says it's centralized privacy enhanced cryptocurrency developed by a growing volunteer community so uh, and they you know just to boost it on the left hand side it says features no pre-mine no ico no corporation no ex executives no venture capitalists behind this project no government affiliations no physical uh, presence this thing is uh, resilient to many different things or res resistant it says censorship resistant look no one can interfere with epic transactions they cannot be blocked blacklisted filtered or date look i said all this before watch my video on epic cash matter of fact if you look at my channel now uh, <laughs> i did a video on it literally um, I'm recording this look here, like 1,200 views within an hour. People are seriously interested in this, right? I put big money in this. You best believe. Check that video there. Have a good watch because it's a good one. So I'm calling this to be in there as well as a as an Easter egg uh, coin. I think we're going to see 100x on this. The price for one coin will go to about 100 pounds. Okay, that's what I believe. So you check it out and then you decide what you want to do. Let me just refresh it. What's it sitting on right now? Uh, yeah, about yeah. I think it's going to go to 100 pounds. Now's a good time to buy a pound a piece. That's what I think. Um, guys, I'm going to leave it here. If you liked it, drop that like. Give me a subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you don't want to miss out and get in early, and you, you know, because my patrons see videos like this before you do. Become a patron. They've already watched this, and now you're watching it. Hopefully, the prices are still low. Uh, you have a chance to get in. Uh, these are the tiers. Go for my exclusive VIP partner tier. That's going to unlock all my posts. You'll see everything. If you can afford it, I have a CEO tier, the next tier above. C E O T R gives you access to my VIP Telegram group. In there, I was talking to them about Epic Cash before I bought it. They were buying in my group before I bought it. Uh, and then obviously, I do the buy alert when I do buy it, and then people see as well over here. But if you want that quick edge on the market, come over here. This is where magic's happening. This is where big money's making crazy money, sharing crazy projects. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.